Unemployment in the UK has increased by more than 600,000 during the coronavirus pandemic, according to the latest official figures, prompting fears of an economic disaster. The number of UK workers on payrolls fell by 649,000 between March and June, according to the Office for National Statistics, ONS. In the past month the coronavirus crisis claimed another 74,000 jobs. The ONS estimates showed the number of paid employees fell by 1.9% year-on-year in June to 28.4 million, and by 0.3% compared with the previous month. The ONS said the pace of job losses appeared to have slowed in June, with claims under universal credit by the unemployed and those on low incomes falling by 28,100 between May and June to 2.6 million. The increase in jobs losses was not as bad as many feared as the rate of unemployment began to slow down into June as the UK economy began to reopen. As of June more than 9 million employees in the UK were signed up to the furlough scheme, which pays 80% of an employee's wages up to £2,500 per month. Chancellor Rishi Sunak will end the job retention scheme in October and then the true figure of unemployment will be known. Jonathan Athau, Deputy National Statistician at ONS, said, As the pandemic took hold, the labor market weakened markedly, but that rate of decline slowed into June, though this is before recent reports of job losses. There are now almost two-thirds of a million fewer employees on the payroll than before the lockdown, according to the latest tax data. The Labor Force Survey is showing only a small fall in employment, but shows a large number of people who report working no hours and getting no pay. He added, there are now far more out-of-work people who are not looking for a job than before the pandemic. The worrying figures also showed the number of vacancies fell from 463,000 to a record low of 333,000 between March and May. Business Secretary Alex Sharma said the unemployment data would have been worse had the government not supported millions of people through the pandemic. Mr Sharma told the BBC, if we hadn't provided this support, we would be in a far worse position the cost of inaction would have been much greater than the cost of action. James Reid chairman of Britain's leading recruitment firm Reid said the figures, paint a bleak picture, and warned the risk of mass unemployment remains high.